Hello everyone, and today <clears throat> we're going to be talking about a pretty new port for Total War Rome Remastered, and this is uh, aimed at Barbarian Invasion. This is uh, Scorched Ground, and uh, this mod, it had a, uh, a beta released for, not a beta, but like a demo, released for the original Barbarian Invasion that was called the Stormbringer, and this is basically a more fully fleshed out version of that, though it's still a beta. It's not uh, out of beta yet. And as you can see, it's it's a Barbarian Invasion mod, and it's pr as you can tell by the skills, it is uh, quite... It's themed with re brutality. It's sort of... It'll be a good Halloween campaign, so perhaps this year I can play some uh, End of Days 2, and this mod would go with it. Um, but anyway... Uh, this mod has three campaigns. So it's, of course, a Barbarian Invasion Grand Campaign mod, and it has uh, this minor campaign, which is on the uh, vanilla map. I'll show all of the maps. And it has the Gigantus campaign, which is on a much larger map, so it has like more significant parts of the Sassanid Empire, and there are... It extends a little bit further past the Caspian, and it's a larger map, so it's quite nice. I think the larger map fits in better with the uh, Barbarian Invasion time period. Um, I think it'll make the tribal migration gameplay a little cooler to have a bigger map. And then you have the uh, Spain campaign, uh, which, as you can tell with the lack of descriptions, is a little more in alpha than the other campaigns, but, but it plays well. Um, and this is, of course, in 415 AD. So when Spain, was, uh, the Iberian Peninsula was completely uh, in chaos, in the reign of Honorius and after Honorius. So, uh, yeah, I will get into a few campaigns here. Now, this mod, as I said, is the theme is sort of brutality, and the units in this mod are really nice looking. So... I will uh, show off the three different campaigns. I'll focus on the Gigantus one, since that is the uh, very cool, brand new um, campaign. It's a very nice map uh, for the Barbarian Invasion period. And I will uh, get into some battles and show off some of the unit rosters. All right, so here we are in the uh, minor campaign, or the so-called minor campaign. And as you can see, it's a sort of... Um, version of the vanilla map with more vanilla uh, Rome Remastered textures. And I think if you're someone who prefers the vanilla map, which a lot of people do, a lot of people do, I think uh, you'll enjoy this. So I would, I would tweak the colors just a little bit. I think I have it on a little bit too saturated. Of course, the vanilla, um, the the vanilla textures in Rome Remastered are a little bit different. I really like the snow textures in vanilla Rome Remastered. But anyway, uh, you can see the size of the uh, Italian peninsula here. We'll quickly toggle the fog of war just to take a look at some of the differences here. So, of course, we have uh, Dacia, Sarmatia, uh, the Visigoths, uh, the Burgundians, the Lombardi, your standard uh, barbarian invasion scenario, East-West Roman Empire, um, uh, the Berbers, uh, the Sassanids, and it's, it's a very vanilla situation in terms of this map. So I'm going to uh, show you the Gigantus map just as a comparison, so uh, give me just a second. All right, so here we are in the uh, Gigantus map for a uh, scorched ground, and as you can see, uh, the Italian peninsula much larger here. I'd say the scale is a little bit comparable to... Um, maybe it's a little bit smaller than the uh, Europa... The Europa 270 BC map that's used by other mods like Glory of Rome and uh, Darth mod. Uh, or maybe it's a similar scale. I think it's, it's quite nice. And I think compared to this scale in something like uh, the vanilla time period, so 3rd uh, century BC, I think it works quite well for the 4th and 5th centuries AD because you really get more room for the um, 
the, the migrating tribes to kind of run wild and settle down and there's more provinces, it's harder to figure out where to concentrate your defenses. I think it works really nicely, actually. So, of course, uh, somebody mentioned this, so I have to do it. Uh, Artaxata is present in this uh, 365 AD starting mod, so I'm going to have to immediately uh, dock a point for that. Of course, very serious. I'm very, very serious. Um, and then, uh, just joking, just joking. And then, of course, um, you go all the way to the east here, and you have... Uh, the Sassanid rebels, you have usurpers for the uh, Eastern and Western Roman empires as well, which is, of course, uh, quite nice. So here are the Western Roman rebels. And then you have the Eastern Roman rebels as well in Cyrenaica. Of course, all of that is going to be uh, tweaked uh, as uh, development continues because, of course, this is uh, still in beta. So don't expect a finished product just yet. But in terms of the campaign gameplay, it's pretty... Uh, if you've played Barbarian Empires, it's pretty similar. The AI is quite aggressive um, with this uh, campaign balance. And I think that's uh, quite nice. And it's a good change compared to um, mods, uh, other mods where if the economy is too difficult for the AI or if it's not balanced in such a way that the AI can understand it, uh, you have the issue of passivity in the AI that uh, plagues quite a few mods. Um, but in any case, you don't have that issue here. The AI is quite active. So I'm going to quickly show you the uh, Spain map, the 415 AD Spain campaign, campaign uh, minor campaign map. And then I will get into a um, battle and show off some of the unit rosters, which, of course, are quite, quite nice in this mod. All right, so here we are in the Spain map. And uh, as you can see, th there, uh, there are a few oddities here in terms of the textures, but it looks pretty, pretty cool. This, in fact, I think this could be a good uh, basis for... Hmm. Could work as like a chivalry minor campaign with um, the sort of Iberian Peninsula scenario in the 11th century. But anyway, just a quick uh, toggle of the fog of war. And uh, it's, it's a pretty nice scenario here. So you have a ton of, you have basically everybody, the Alans, uh, Alamanni, everybody wants a piece of Iberia. And then you have the Western Romans kind of huddled here in uh, Asturias and in parts of North Africa. And I don't know, it, it just, this just seems like a nice map for a lot of different time periods. Um, I think it still needs a little bit of work. So this is, I'd say this is still an alpha or beta. And as you can tell by the descriptions, that's uh, just how it is. I do like the new textures here for the UI. It looks, it looks darker. It looks um, more bleak. So I like it. it more, uh, what's the word, saturated, but in a, in a dark way. I, I like it. So uh, let's get into a battle here in a minute. All right, so here we are in a custom battle. And we are, of course, playing as the uh, Western Roman Empire because everybody uh, clamors for it. And uh, we have our Federati Axemen. We have Equites Clibinari, so the uh, heavy horse archers, the armored horse archers, looking pretty cool. Most do we have? So we have, uh, I like the officers here in this mod. Uh, we also have uh, Limitani Swordsman with some equipment variation, which is cool. I do like the beaten up equipment in this mod, and it's only going to get better in terms of the variation. We have some Palmyron heavy uh, spearmen getting up and running over there with their capes, looking good. We have uh, Milites. And uh, who else do we have? We have nobles of the Eastern Satrapies. Uh, so a nice half cataphract. I always like the half cataphract units. And of course, uh, we have to show the, oh, oh, Sogdians. The Sogdians look very cool. Very cool indeed. Creepy, creepy sun shield. And then we have the Scola Palatina. 
So uh, the probably the heaviest cavalry of the Western Roman Empire, of uh, uh, sort of native Roman units. Other than that, we have you know your standard Roman units like the Comitatensis, standard late Roman stuff, Limitani swordsmen. Uh, again, I really like the shields in this mod. Really, really well done. Oh, I want to quickly show the Berber. The Berber Auxiliary Cavalry, looking very threatening indeed. And lovely shields as well. Other than that, let's um, check out some of these other units here. So we have a Pictish army here uh, with uh, headhunting maidens. Looking menacing. They are definitely not just standing there menacingly, they are... Oh, Mercenary Daughters of Morrigan. Now that is a dangerous indeed. They look... Yeah. That, then, yeah. And then you have the Hounds of Kulan, uh, who uh, I'm not sure if you would want to run into these guys late at night. That, now that's a Halloween design. <laughs> that's a Halloween costume right there. Uh, and then you have the Celtic Slingers looking... I really like the Celtic units. They look very cool. And you know, this mod, uh, it's, it shows like the, you know, the scariness of warfare in this period and the war paint and the, the designs of the costumes that would like inspire fear in the hearts of their enemies. That's something that this mod really gets across it's this was not a fun time period uh, especially for the romans uh celtic chosen spearmen looking nice as well better armed but not as scary as the other guys and you have the pictish light swordsmen uh their animations are kind of creeping me out right here uh, yeah i don't want to face the picts other than that we also have the sassanids here we saw a few eastern units in our own army. So we've got our nobles of the Eastern Satrapies that are just running roughshod over our Comitatensis Juniores. And we have a Clibinari Immortals, so the heaviest Persian units with um, full cataphract armor and full armor on the horse archer as well. Celtic Light Cavalry moving in to creep us out too. Oh, Kerns. Perfect. I, I always like the shields of the Kerns. These units look slightly more menacing than the Kerns in uh, Chivalry Total War. I'm just kidding. The, the Chivalry ones don't look nearly as menacing as this. Though they look fine. They're just not as menacing. Um, and then I think... You get the picture. Like, you, if you play as Western Rome, your foes are going to scare you. And I think that is pretty cool. And the Western Romans, they have uh, some heavy troops of their own and some real, like, you can tell you're trying to defend your empire with honor, but your foes are just, they are scary. They are scary in this mod. So I, I might play this on Halloween. This is a pretty good Halloween mod. Let me know what you think. I, I really like the units in this mod, and the campaign gameplay is, uh, is pretty fast and furious as well, which is good for streams and videos like this. So I think, I think you're going to like this one. So in any case, this is a Scorched Ground. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. It's um, out on the steam workshop i'll have a link in the description below as you observe our palmyron heavy spearman getting wrecked by this uh, lady that has like two heads on her back as like a backpack so that that basically sums up this mod oh our own guys have heads over there all righty then well Seems like we're playing a Persona game right now, so, um, yeah. 
anyway, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. And if you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, uh, running for your lives as the late Western Roman Empire. And I will see you in the next one later.